Jay Burton here. This time I'm bringing you my Holy Pally PvP guide for 6.2.3. And like my like all my other guides, I'll include the talents, glyphs, stats, and macros. Alright, let's get into it. So for the first tier, the only thing you can go is speed of light. When you when you uh, couple this with your blessing of freedom, or sorry, hand of freedom, you are just gonna get away from everybody. Best LOS spell in the game here. <clears throat> the other two just don't compete. Okay, the next tier, your CC tier. Um, I normally, uh, like 85% of the time, I'll take Fist of Justice. 30 second cooldown for a 6 second stun is amazing. But, um, if your team has a lot of stuns already, and it's just going to DR a lot, you're going to want to go Repentance. Blinding Light is just too terrible. For 2 minute cooldown, uh, no, if it, maybe maybe a 45 second cooldown I would use it. Um, in 2v2s, if you're running with the team and you're going to CC the healer, and Repentance won't DR with your teammates CC, then Repentance is the way to go. Uh, in 3s, I would just take Fist of Justice most of the time. You're probably going to use it defensively. Uh, the next tier, I really prefer Sacred Shield, because not only can you just keep get keep it up on everybody, the buff, it, it's a magic buff, and it refreshes quite often. So it's another thing they have to purge through to try to hit your blood, your your uh, hand of protection. I think that in itself is amazing. Even if it didn't absorb damage, it's just really good. You could take Eternal Flame, get that nice hot, but I really like Sacred Shield. Next here, majority of the time I, I take Clemency, just get those two hand of protections, two freedoms, two sacrifices. You could take Hand of Purity though, versus like Affliction Locks. In 3v3, if it's like Affliction Lock Warrior, Shaman, I don't know if I would go Hand of Purity, because it'd probably get purged off anyways. Probably just take Clemency. Uh, Unbreakable Spirit, I don't use it too often. It's nice versus caster comps, you know, you can get your, your uh, divine protection up a lot for that nice solid 40% damage reduction, but you honestly need the freedoms for your teammates to stay on them, and you'll need the sacrifices, so when you get CC'd like a full polymorph or fear on you, it, it's going to break just because your teammates are taking damage, so I really use clemency most of the time. The next year, I just always go with Sanctified Wrath. The main reason why is because it reduces the cooldown of Holy Shock by 50% and increases its crit chance by 20%. When you couple this with the Glyph of uh, reduced cooldown of Avenging Wrath by 50% and the effect, but still, it's just so helpful for your Holy Shock to be be up that, that much that often. So Sanctified Wrath is the way to go. In this next year, um, the only one that's not viable is Light's Hammer, because you don't often really get to stand still in it. Uh, Execution Sentence provides a huge heal over 9 seconds. If it doesn't get purged off, it is a gigantic heal. Um, Holy Prism is just as viable too, because it's a nice short cooldown. It's another instant cast heal that you can cast on yourself while you're running and kiting. Holy Paladins really lack instant cast heals aside from that Holy Shock, so it's up to you. Okay, in the last here. There's only two options, Saved by the Light, pretty much mandatory in twos, because it's the only one you can really use, provides a nice little bubble, but Beacon of Faith in threes I think is mandatory, because you can heal you and your other two, mates, other two teammates at the same time, always. It's fantastic. Okay, so that's all the talents, let's move on to Glyphs. I always use Glyph of Merciful Wrath, as I said, it helps you keep your Holy Shock up a lot. It comes out to a 1.5 minute cooldown, but it lasts 30 seconds. So you can really get those holy shocks rolling. And I always use Glyph of Flash of Light. The reason why is because it's a it gives you another magic buff. So another thing they have to purge through. And then of course it just increases the ceiling. That's always nice too. And then I'd like to go Glyph and Denounce just to get that instant cast denounce. Because sometimes you can't actually hard cast to denounce. But you really need to, you know, get that just you need to steal that critical strike chance from someone to not only reduce their damage by a lot, but increase your healing by a lot, so it's sometimes you have to have that denounce be instant cast. Uh, some other options you could take is uh, Liberator, like in, let's say a 2v2, and you're, you have a warrior on your team and you're versing a really kitey enemy team, like a, let's say Resto Druid Hunter. Use this so you can keep your warrior with freedoms a lot more often, helps out a lot. And another one is Cleanse, I'm too lazy to go by the glyph, 
in case you need to go double dispel though versus you know affliction locks or whatever and that's all the ones that I think are useful all right let's move on to uh, stats I either go haste into versatility or versatility into haste a lot of people will say versatility over haste I'm I'm a, I don't know I'm not quite sold on that I, I like the idea of having more haste because you can get your denounces off a whole lot quicker but you also have to hard cast your heals you only have one instant cast heal compared to other healers you're in a tough you're in a tough position you have to hard cast so the shorter the cast time the better I, I just find that to be so important but a lot of people still go versatility it's up to you you could test them both out you know but yeah I I'm gonna stick with haste um, as a holy pally you do want to go for your four piece just because that word of glory provides up to a 15% damage reduction if you use three holy power that's pretty awesome uh, when it comes to my macros I don't have a whole lot for holy pally I do use mouse over macros for all my heals in case you haven't seen my other videos I use mouse over macros because you can heal without targeting somebody you just you just hover over them so this allows you to target one person and have your focus on another person so you can watch two people at once while healing your team I just find that so valuable I, I have a macro for that for all my heals I'll, I'll post one in the description in case you guys want to test them out they're not mandatory and then I also do a focus macro for my uh, fist of justice or repentance if I was using repentance hand of sacrifice and uh, hand of freedom you want to have it where you can just cast one on your arena partner one or cast one on your arena partner two you want them to be super quick if you if you're too lazy to do that I guess just use mouse over macros you can just quickly you know hover over one of them bam it's, it's not as quick though as using the macro to just manually cast it on them I really recommend you trying to get used to more macros it can help you be a better player you can also make a macro for your holy shock to make it where even if you're targeting an enemy to just heal you uh, I'm too lazy to do that I just hover over myself alright that should be it if you guys enjoyed the video please comment like or subscribe it will help me out so much in making these videos alright guys see you later